guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 7 of the Honor Student at Magic High School. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> is killing me. I think I'm going to eat pizza after this. Because I am getting hungry. Yeah, but something tells me you might. I, I mean, I'm not 100 percent sure, but you know, mm, what the original series had and happened. But I don't think they showed this because did they show? They showed like one match. No, they showed two matches for Shijuku, but they didn't show this match. So yeah, we didn't really get to see like an outcome of if the semifinals with them. We saw more of that between the two which was really Shizuku versus Miyuki and then Shizuku the match that me uh Shizuku had before Miyuki I should be done with this at least by 7.50. Maybe. It just depends on how long I've been talking by the end of this. Hmm. 
Of course. With her help. And because of that, she might even get, like, a better time scoring with than she's ago. And see, the one thing I kind of like about Ari is that when she sees potential in somebody, she will raise that ability like it's nobody's fucking business. Of course, in a way, Arya, Arya's your savior. Because it's almost like if Shiori doesn't get that praise from Ari, she feels like her whole world is ending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which, of course, she didn't.
Nice try though. Me, you baby. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but she doesn't want to see you. She felt like you, she let you down. <laughs> oh, Honoka, it's going to be okay. You're going to do fine. Yeah. 
I mean, but we don't want to consider that cheating. I, I do. Okay. You'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Mm, poor thing. And of course, because of that, that was so good. <laughs> You just hear something by the guy that you have a crush on, and then boom, you'd be like, bitch, I can do anything. You feel bad for Shiori though. Yeah, and it seems like you, you know, you do really care for her. You possibly love her.
Exactly. So you can't really give up when it gets tough. You keep going. But she's here, though. Girlfriends, no matter what. Girlfriends! I honestly like the fact that, you know, this episode focused on Idy and, you know, <clears throat> Shorty's relationship, really, because I was expecting it to be a one... 100%, you know, very similar episode of what to happen and such. But I do like the fact that we got to see other things from the episode that we didn't actually get to see the first time around when that episode came around. Honoka, <laughs> you did good, baby. Even with all of your little distractions and the fact is that you were nervous and everything, you still did good. We're now getting into the ice pillar stuff, so I feel like next week or really this Saturday when that episode does officially come, it's going to go very quick, fast, in a hurry. We're going to go through, you know, um, Shizuku's first match and then Shizuku's match with Miyuki very quickly to the point where, you know, Shizuku gets defeated, Miyuki's going to go on, and then Miyuki has the other event that she has to do, and that's when she's going to use that one um, ability from her CAD, and then everybody is going to be like, okay, hold up, what the fuck is this bitch doing? and such and that's when everybody's gonna be like oh okay mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah and then when they find out like what who you know all the situations and shit like that but yeah this was cute i mean shiori and Idy, their relationship is just very very sweet but like i said shiori really really cares for Idy like super much in a way she kind of loves her not not in a like a an obsession way but almost like as a the way almost as a girlfriend would love another girlfriend in a relationship, what a child would love how their parent, um, the way the pa uh, a child loves their parent and such, and they always want to look for that person, whether they are the same age as them or even a little bit older than them, for guidance and such. Aini was the one who brought Shiori out of her darkness, so no matter what, she's going to put Aini on this big pedestal and so when she you know lost against her match with Shizuku of course she's going to feel the most depressed because of the fact is not only has she failed herself but she's failed someone who she's put on a pedestal for such a long time her savior in a way and so it's the only one who can bring her back up besides her savior is someone else who is a friend to her and such and so it's saying okay let me tell you about this situation when we were kids and yada yada and this is that and the third but in in the end i'm glad she already came back and you know she's like yeah i'm even though i'm late i am here and i'm gonna get and we're gonna get this shit done but honestly yes this is a very funny episode interesting like i said honoka and and her you know her mind oh my god her mind, I can't with her sometimes, but I love her so much. She's still one of my personal favorite characters. She's not much. She's like my second, third fave, but she's just so fucking adorable, and she, I can't with her, but she's just like, she's hilarious. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode seven of The Honor Student at Magic High School. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all this Saturday for episode 8. Bye, guys.